It's like, oh, biggest speakers ever. But, you know, now it's 1,500 watts, 1,800 watts, you know, but, and that time was a, a kind of a, a really raw sound, you know, it wasn't nice and deep, it was a, a raw sound. And tell you the truth, the, the, the louder the box, the more rattle the box made, the more, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, that's it. The more rattle it made, the more it sounded louder because it, it just sounded loud. But it wasn't clean, it was just rattling. And it was, was, was happy with that. So, some loose screws, no glue, Bruce. That's what it was. And it was physically impressive, I'm sure, as well, when you rolled it out and the sound of it arriving at the club. Oh, it was, it was, it was really, really weird because, uh, like I said, different shapes. There was no designs in the sense of like this size to make it the base better. It was just out there or like that. Anything, like I said, anything got thrown out, you put a speaker in there. Once the speaker could fit in there, it was in there. <laughs> it just that's what it was. Anything. It was. And then they, we had no camera because, we, like I said, we, we, we was all skinned, we had no money, so we couldn't even take photos of, of the sound at, at that stage, you know, and nobody was really interested in taking photos, it, it was just going out to listen, to, to hear the music, so I wish I had some, some I wish I had some uh, photos, because it was a, uh, that would be a, yeah, that'd be that would be, yeah, see, that'd yeah. be great, yeah. And were these dances, uh, I mean, I uh, heard of, you know, in the UK particularly, one of the type of dances that was popular was the blues dances. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about, first of all, what, what they are and what, what was the idea of the blues dances? Or what would it be like if, when you wandered into the room to, the, to yeah. describe a night at a blues dance? Well, blues dances was like, you go in town uh, to go to a party, well, to go in town to dance first, whatever it was house, jazz, funk, you go in town first, then after town, you come to blues, it's just a house, it's just like somebody's house with a cellar underneath that made it into a late night party, um, what we call it blues at them times, there were different blues in different, in different areas in Leeds, uh, Sheffield had some, London had loads, it's just like a black thing at that time, so it's where you could go and play dominoes or cards and have a drink, have a dance, meet a girl. And that's how it was back in the days. And blues was a big thing because for us to hear music, there was no radio stations. So to hear music, we had to go to blues or go to the youth clubs at night time to hear, you know, it could be Sir Cox, it could be Chacha Shaka, it could be local sounds, too many sounds to mention, but local sounds played and that's the only way we could ever hear music was to go to a dance and to explain that you know it was just it was just great to 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 go there and and do that and it would you know certain different blues have different styles some sold food some sold a, a, a different kind of drink so you went to certain places Depending to get what, what you're into. yes to get what it was you know um, and that's, that was blues, just like a late night party, it went on forever, you know. And did you play at those as well? I mean? Yeah, when I, got, when I got a bit more popular, I think we played in the late 80s, early 90s, and we, I played in blues, just DJ set, sometimes to the sound down there. Um, but because I enjoyed the blues so much, I didn't want to really want to play too much, because there's a lot of things happening, like, you know, girls, so... <laughs> I used to dance, you know, it's social, the social, yeah. 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 And tell me, when you, uh, you know, from, if we go back to Ital Rockers, um, I mean, you, you also had another outfit uh, called Katashi, which is how you hooked up with Dennis Rudico. Yeah. Um, how, how was that different from Ital Rockers? Well, Ital Rockers was, was a house thing, because I made sure every time I played, my name's changed for, for certain genres of music. So when I was Ita Rockers, it was house, Chicago house style. And that's what I built, the Ita's Anthem. If you hear it, if you ever get a chance to go on the net, I think it's on the net, type in Ita's Anthem, and you'll hear the dubbing, dubbing influences in that track. 
at that time. But it was a house trap, but it, it ended up being between jungle, house, and dub, right? And then the, the Kitata thing came across because um, I used to go from Leeds to London to the Arches to go listen to Abashanti and other sounds play in the Foxhall Arches in London. And there was a certain track that Dennis Rutical made called The More We Are Together. And I was looking for that track because I loved that track and I didn't know who built it. And I was talking to Blacker Mix and Keita Roots at that time outside the, ven the venue. And um, after I finished talking to them guys, this other guy walked up to me with a big hat on, some big glasses and some long dreads. I said, I said hi. Yeah, uh, that track you're looking for, I built it. Oh, right. So from there, me and Dennis Rutica was my big, big, big bad partner, big best friend. Up to this day now, we are still together, building tracks together, and it's one of the best uh, things happened to me in my life at that time to meet a good guy like Dennis. And um, the Kitacha project came along because I was, I had a background of the Aitos Anthem house and he had a background of the dub, and I had the dub also. So the collaboration would have been, was have been perfect at that time for these people that wanted to do us. So at that time we called ourselves Kitachi, and um, if you want to hear some Kitachi stuff, I didn't bring nothing today, Kitachi. If you want Kitachi stuff, then uh, obviously the internet's a big thing now. Just type in Kitachi and you'll, uh, you'll hear some different styles of what did then. And Kitachi got kind of associated with trip hop as yeah. well, didn't yeah. it? At yeah. that time it was released yeah. on the dope Tricky and kind of guys, yeah. label. But tell me then, so finally, it's just Irish and Steppers now. Yeah. There's no more Kitashi, is there, or no more the main, I tell rockers. I always wanted, I always, you see, I'm a guy, I like different styles of music, but I love dub. It's just a love of dub. It's just the first music I just love, simple as that. But I like other music as well. You know, I like hip hop back in the days. Not now, I think it's not good now. I won't say rubbish, but it's not good now. I used to like, you know, Dr. Dre and them kind of guys. The Chronic LP was a tough LP, you know what I mean? It was a swelling LP that wicked, you know, Run DMC, them kind of guys, tough back in the days. It's just music that was music was made with a soul, with a feeling. I don't think music nowadays, some of that hip hop anyway and stuff like that, there's just no soul and no heart in the music. It's just gone. That's why the beauty of dub, it's still got heart in, it's still got. The, the beat and the heart in dub music still because you've got some influence in the dub. I'm not saying that every, every dub tune is good because no, it's not, you know. But um, the good ones that come through are good. You know, dance hall style, the good ones that came through the tough, you know. It's, it's, it's a music that evolves. I mean, the 70s and the 80s, 90s, you know, you can still play them all now. You know, you can go back to the 70s and play a Chinese track now and the 80s track, tough. But, and the hip hop back in the days, tough. But now, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah. But you've got, a, you've got a tune with you actually, which is, uh, which we should play really. This is um, yeah. originally a Kitashi tune. Yeah. So it's kind of a taste of the old stuff. But, but this is Iration Steppers on. Well, this is the Kitashi track that we did back in the days. And um, we kind of remixed it up and made it more, is that on? And we made it more dubbified. Yeah. And we made it more dubbified sort of thing. But it's still got the influence of Kitachi in it. So it's not raw, raw dub, but it's, it's, it's the elements of the two styles. I don't know if you want to play it now, yeah? Yeah. Okay. It's all there. Yeah. If anyone needs a seat, there's some seats up here as well. The loads. I've 
years, some little sounds behind it, right? All it was was 